How does a small English football club playing in the ninth tier of football become an internationally supported team with merchandise revenue in the six figures? It wasn't bought over by a Hollywood movie star like Wrexham FC. The answer for Real Bedford FC is Bitcoin. With a main kit sponsorship from Gemini, a multi-billion dollar crypto exchange, and a club shop that accepts Bitcoin payments, the link between Real Bedford and Bitcoin isn't simply a gimmick. The blend of football and cryptocurrency is an odd one, yes. It was the brainchild of podcast Caster and entrepreneur Peter McCormick, who was born and raised in the town of Bedford. Bedford sits in the eastern part of England, located in Bedfordshire County. It's home to around 200,000 people and appears to be a nice quaint English village built on the River Ouse and according to online sources boasts a multicultural population and diverse community. However, despite its scenic location, the town of Bedford is facing some economic challenges. The 2021 census data shows that almost half of the town's households are struggling financially, based on various income and standard of living indicators as people grapple with inflation and the cost of living crisis that has swept through the UK since the 2020 lockdowns. In some ways, this makes Bedford an ideal place to teach people about Bitcoin, the currency that many see as the antidote to our modern financial woes. A firm believer in this Bitcoin hypothesis, Peter McCormick, a businessman, Bitcoin investor and podcaster, saw an opportunity. He acquired Rail Bedford FC in April 2022 and immediately began the process of Bitcoinization of the football team. Real Bedford was established in 2002 as a result of the merger of Bedford United and US Valerio local club. Few could have seen a turnaround in just 20 years and McCormick has ambitions to make it all the way to the Premier League. Exactly how did McCormick end up blending his love of football and Bitcoin though? He is fully aware that it might sound like a cliche but ever since he was a boy his dream was to buy his local football club and elevate it through the leagues all the way to the top. He wanted to have access to high quality soccer without the need for long travels to big cities and this is a dream that he has now begun to realize. Before McCormick bought a football team and launched his podcast, What Bitcoin Did, he used to run a marketing agency with an office right in the heart of London. When he started the podcast, its success over the past four years sees him transversing the globe, mainly on the Bitcoin conference circuit. I have personally seen him speak at Bitcoin Miami where he always has a Real Bedford FC merchandise stand set up and of course he only takes payments in Bitcoin. But back in 2021, he actually tried purchasing a rival club, Bedford Town FC, which happens to be the oldest and largest club in the area. Unfortunately, or fortunately, his offer was rejected, and so he turned his attention to Bedford FC, a smaller club located in an industrial area on the town's outskirts. After the purchase, the setting at Bedford FC was anything but glamorous. The small car park was surrounded by wooden pallets and rubbish. There was a prefab clubhouse, which served as a gathering spot for Real Bedford supporters at half time and it was tucked away in one corner of the stadium complex. McCormick wanted to change this so he decided to rebrand the club utilizing his background in marketing. The club's name was changed to Real Bedford FC. The crest was transformed into a skull and crossbones and the team was aptly nicknamed the Pirates. The tunnel where players lined up to take the field was painted pitch black and adorned with menacing graffiti in ultraviolet paint featuring phrases like tears of blood and punishment parade. Before matches you can hear the deafening volume of Rage Against the Machine, McCormick's favourite band, blasting in the changing rooms. According to McCormick, the goal was to spark a reaction, to get the media and the crypto community talking about a small town club in England which would otherwise be irrelevant. If McCormick could forge a link between his club and Bitcoin, a brand itself in its own right, he would gain headlines all over the world and he figured it would bring the world's attention to Bedford. In turn, this would allow the club to get sponsors, fans, a social media following and more, all of which would be part of the plan to take Real Bedford to the Premier League. The idea of blending sport and crypto isn't unique to Bedford though. During the peak of the cryptocurrency bull run in 2021, industry players began pouring millions of dollars into sports sponsorships. For instance, exchanges like Coinbase and Crypto.com signed multi-year deals with National Basketball Association and Formula One. However, there was no example of a small player attempting a strategy like this. McCormick himself has said repeatedly that Bedford is pretty much off the radar for both football fans and crypto fanatics and there is no real reason that anyone beyond the area would know about Bedford but now that has somewhat changed. Are you enjoying the video so far? Please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. England is the home of football and owning an English club is, at least on paper, the dream for many. However, the reality is that lower league clubs don't benefit much from the lucrative TV deals that have made top flight English clubs among the wealthiest in the world. Football is a game run by money, McCormick said in a recent interview.
you. If you don't like that, I'm sorry, but you can't ignore that fact. The majority of small clubs don't generate enough revenue from tickets and sponsorships to stay financially afloat without continuous financial support from their owners. Running any business at a loss is obviously unsustainable. It should be noted that over the past four decades, more than 70 lower league clubs have faced insolvency and 13 have been forced to close their doors for good. But Cormac did not want that to happen to his club. He has admitted that he can see the similarities between Real Bedford and Wrexham, a Welsh club competing in the English league that was acquired by actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney in 2021. Like Bedford, Wrexham used unconventional marketing strategies to revive the club, and it worked. McCormick even considers himself Bedford's budget Ryan Reynolds, since he has limited resources by comparison. But despite the role of Bitcoin in Real Bedford's resurgence and success, McCormick takes care not to impose Bitcoin on the supporters. While the club does accept Bitcoin as payment for tickets, merchandise and refreshments. It is not mandatory and the majority of people still pay in regular pounds. McCormick explains that Rail Bedford's financial structure closely resembles that of any other business. Although they maintain a Bitcoin reserve, which McCormick believes will appreciate in value over time, they do not convert the matchday revenue received in pounds into Bitcoin. The appreciation of the club's Bitcoin reserves is the key piece in the strategy to one day reach the Premier League, where the club will need vast funds for player salaries and purchases and necessitate new infrastructure, including an improved stadium and other facilities. For the time being though, McCormick's Bitcoin-centric marketing approach appears to be yielding results. He says that the club has gained over $100,000 in merchandise sales, a figure significantly higher than what a team at this level typically earns. McCormick also has a publicity machine for his club, which no doubt comes in handy. His podcast, What Bitcoin Did, is listened to worldwide and he can, and does, openly discuss Real Bedford regularly with his guests. To give you an idea of how popular the podcast is, the president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukele, chose McCormick for his first ever interview after designated Bitcoin as legal tender in the country in 2021. A brief visit to Real Bedford's website or their social media quickly reveals that McCormick's unorthodox strategy has elevated the club's promotional abilities to a level far above the norm for a team of this level. Overall, McCormick's Bitcoin reserve strategy and on online promotion could, if successful long term, pave the way for other small clubs and organizations to do the same. Aligning with a global movement, even if unrelated, crypto and football, was undoubtedly the genius piece of this puzzle. Since Bitcoin is global, so is now Real Bedford. The team has supporters clubs in Ghana, Tanzania and even Malaysia because Bitcoiners are getting behind the team. The club's matches are live streamed online and enjoyed by Bitcoin enthusiasts worldwide. As for success on the pitch, Real Bedford Bedford won promotion last year to the Spartan South Midlands Football League. There may be a long way to go before we see the likes of Man City, Liverpool and other titans facing off against Real Bedford. But for now, the future looks bright. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. Let us know what you think about McCormick's strategy and if one day we will see Real Bedford in the Premier League. If you love the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe and join us again for more videos like these. Thank you for watching.